Yeah, hi. So, you know, this is like a double interview because of your doubles performance. Yeah. Your singles performance. Yeah, I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> um, you know, doubles, you know, it's not always an interview. Yeah. But we'll start there. How did you feel about doubles today? Uh, doubles is great. I mean, I've seen with Tori for, I've seen with Tori for like many, yeah. many years. We went to school together from WTI. 2012 to 2016. Yep, you're very familiar <laughs> with the WAS. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's what it's, that, you know, I was saying it earlier, uh, not when you were teaming because I didn't commentate then, but I'm like, Bonfire 10 from New Hampshire, already from Connecticut. Yeah. How would they start the team How did unless that happen? they met, met somewhere in somewhere the middle? Somewhere in the middle. That's WPI. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, WPI is like smack dab it, in the middle. It really is right too. in the middle, too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've been teaming a long time. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, in teams just goes unspoken. You like the ways in which you edge guard together, the ways in which you combo together and are prepared to handle certain situations. So, you know, like we, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff we, we get really big openings uh, because we're really good at covering like tech options can naturally because we just like has it too yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and good. cheek and peach are so good at it mm -hmm. like they're they, they are so good at like passing back and forth horizontally yep. uh they struggle when it's like a vertical combo but as long as you like don't worry about like you just don't try to set up vertical yeah. combos um and only like a two hit vertical <laughs> combo like yeah up air like i can set up like a single hit from sheik yeah. like a, like a i can hit a sh someone into a you know up air or whatever but um but yeah, like it's it's great that we go FD a lot. People are like, oh, why do you go FD? Like game one, I'm like, well, it's the it's like the most vert like horizontal stage. Yeah, uh, get it off the and table. they're not gonna let us go to Dreamland. Um, yeah. Most so of the time. yeah, I mean, it's not even like getting it off the table. Like I, we think it's like good for us. And um, gotcha. Like Peach and Sheik are really really good at like holding a position uh, with their like aerials and stuff. Peach especially. Um, like you know so th th we can like swap off who's like in front pretty seamlessly and yeah. stuff um and peach so is yeah. like a tank and then sheik's oh, you know yeah. fast put fast output of damage yep so it's like at certain percents i'm sure that you just switch you put peach in front and it's like well now i get the tank and she gets the combo off of yeah i mean you could just do so much damage in the right situation like one thing that we got a few times today was uh uh, Tori getting a grab under a platform, and I'm on the platform, and I down smash, and she oh, yeah. basically throw it. It's okay. like, yeah. all right. Yeah, <laughs> they take, Greenland, that's they like literally type forced to take like 50 percent, and it's a lot. Um, that's a lot of percent. <laughs> yeah, and Tori, honestly, shout out to Tori with the clutch one v one on uh, uh, Shmuley in yep. Grands. That that was crazy. Game five oh, that comes was the down last to a one v one. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, yeah, the it was. Two stocks from each single person, yep. and then they came in. My question was that nobody was able to answer uh, when I was asking about it. <coughs> yeah. Was uh, did Bonfire Tense? Did she take your stock? In the no. Final? Okay, so no. she already had. We her just stock. naturally no. Okay, so um, I, I thought I heard that it was two people on either side that share shocks stock shared on yep. either team. Yep. Who stayed on the invincibility platform, the angel platform, longer? Who stayed on the platform longer, the like on average? What the, do you know, the, the last stock when you shared stocks, which which team stayed on the Angel platform longer <laughs> to keep it more longer invincibility uh, in that scenario? I don't, I don't remember a shared stock the last game. Maybe, okay, I, maybe okay. I'm misremembering. Maybe, yeah, I yeah. I, I just know. heard from other people. So it, oh. you, you were in there. I believe you more than the third and fourth game that I heard it from. <laughs> I just fine. Yeah. I, I heard it was like a crazy story. But yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great set. Um, <laughs> they, they're set in winners. Uh, it's also really crazy close. Uh, they beat they, us, they beat you guys on one. Yeah, they beat yeah. us, but then we three one three two. I think, mm -hmm. um, nice or stuff. something like that. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, it was it was good. Um, our opponents were really good. I, I was really impressed with our first match. Uh, the two the two Falcon players. I don't know their tags. Um, mm -hmm. and th they were pretty good. Uh, it's I not a hard I team tags, to like. So wildly team because like Falcon Falcon. <laughs> Falcon like, just gets. It's crazy. <laughs> you just get. Like, he gets hit, and then he's just going to die. Yep. Uh, but he also gets the hit and just kills. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, like, the give and take from Yeah, there's a lot of, like, really deep knees, and I was like, I can't believe we got that, man. <laughs> uh, shout yeah. out to you guys. Yeah, shout out to our round one. Um, and then uh, we'll switch to singles. Sure. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so singles, I, like, prepped for Calvars. I looked at the bracket, like, read yeah. through the insane losers around the Calvar. Yes, he got there. upset by Meep. Yeah, it was good shit. Good shit, Meep did what I couldn't do. One, two, three, <laughs> yeah, I saw four, Meep five, in the chat. He's like, "Does six, that mean I won seven, the tournament?" Eight. It was like nine sets. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, 
But so how did yours go? Like so, who did you verse to get out of your pool? So uh, in pools, there? I had to play Electro Man. Electro Man, um, the He-Man. Electro Man. I haven't played Electro Man in many, like two years, over two years. Uh, I won the last time we played, but Electro Man's obviously a completely different player now. Yes, um, yeah. New England ranked, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I I mean I didn't know what to expect exactly. I felt confident because I feel like. Uh, I don't know. People aren't really ready for me. Yeah. On average, and. Well, everybody uh, knows you know your peach exists. Yeah. But until they play your peach, right? Then it's, they're like, it's different. Well, this peach um, is way different than the other yeah, ones. Yeah. It's, it's like, great. I love playing. Yeah. I'm, and you're I'm also scary to play, but I do enjoy <laughs> yeah, it either thank way. You. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And and like I I would rather um sometimes people give me like a lot of credit. Oh, your peach is so cool or something. And I'm like, I would rather win than be cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I always like watching your peach am amazed with how you can go in with a certain strategy a game and it's like nobody knows it except for you but then you switch the strategy so like on a dime to the next oh, yeah. game it's uh, so impressive that was something i needed to do better in grants uh i, I saw you do it against beckman though yeah like, it was amazing yeah. like i think game two to three i could see like the coin flip at jade and I, I was like oh my god i also had a lot of information on beckman already because we've played a few sets in the last yeah, year or so both so being ct understandably yeah uh i played them at esg a couple times um and of the three people i could have played like tori and calvar and beckman in, when i was waiting in losers finals or when i was waiting in grands for losers finals to finish i was like man i i i have i've beat beckman lately but i have not beaten these other two lately <laughs> and <laughs> let's go beckman <laughs> but i actually am really happy that calvar won because or won like the loser finals because um i was really excited to uh play him in particular see how i fared because it's been a long time since i played him mm-hmm. uh, i nearly beat him at shine i think 2017 um, gotcha. i can't remember if it was 2017 or not but there was a year where i was like last stock last hit against calvar and uh, honestly like it could have gone either way so um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, I, p- something people probably don't know is I, I've been taking drug fox lessons and, mm. uh, and I'm really excited to look over some of the Calvar set gotcha. with him. Um, so stuff. I was like, well, if Beckman wins the losers finals, then I, you know, I'm better off, you know, my chances are better winning the tournament. If Calvar wins, then I have a great set to look, yeah, look over that with makes drug fox. So I was like, this is a win-win and I was already happy with my performance and I, I was trying not to be like content uh because i you know winning would have been awesome too who uh, uh who did you first like out of your pools oh yeah yeah so i beat electro man 3-1 yes. um and then i played project okay uh, really and good, yeah. 3-0 uh, i don't know where that came from last time i played <laughs> he won <laughs> yeah that's good uh, and then also don't know where this came from 3-0 oh uh, yep. all of our sets are are game five last hit like a little bit more information on that one. one too though right CT, yeah yep. but but we haven't played that many times lately. Mm. Uh, he doesn't really go to the locals, and like gotcha. we haven't had a Giga Hog in a while because we did it in the summer. Um, yeah, a lot of tournaments. Yeah, uh, so uh, so we haven't played lately. So I, I like wasn't sure what to expect. I know he plays a lot online and stuff. Like he's mm. like a really hardcore. Grinder, it's a wild card like. when you play a lot online. Yeah, uh, I I kind of hit him hard, and he kind of missed some tech skill. But like it, you know, he still hit some very difficult tech skill in our set anyway. So I think like you know, I just things just worked out for me the pressure of you know I, you get hit by peach off the hit you really thought was going to connect and then just has to feel bad and then true you know <laughs> and, and, and we and understand <laughs> yeah and i've i've got some you know combos that other people typically don't do they'll just mm-hmm. settle for something but i'll like really push it with like up air yep. or, like turning around with the up air to reverse the di you have to do gotcha um to to get out uh so yeah, I mean, like, it was just, I, I, I threw a cue, and then, like, I had to play Beckman in Winter's Finals, and I was like, this is this is such a lucky tournament for me, because uh, <laughs> Calvar gets upset by Meep, and then Q upsets, or beats Meep now, uh, and then, and then like, I was like, wow, I've beaten Q before, okay, we could do this, maybe, yeah. and then I beat Q, and then Beckman, who I've also beaten before, makes it to Winter's Finals instead of Calvar, and I'm like, okay, this is... <laughs> this is this like, set me this up. is great. I, I I'm getting N- kind of an easy relative to, but to the bracket that it could have been. But yeah, I, still I mean, beat don't most down, of them. don't down, down yeah, talk yourself. Yeah, though, cause some of those you won like like of course. two three zero. Like yeah, three, and, three, oh, three and oh. yeah, and I'm not trying. Hopefully, uh, like I mean, it's an impressive run regardless. Second yeah. place in the mass madness. I was saying this on commentary um, a little bit earlier. Like I think the winners final set. I was like, this is like a big showing for you because. To come out of being first seed out of the Arcadian yeah. to be sitting in grand finals yeah, that was is a huge differential. Like, at, at sitting in grand finals at a mass madness is a huge differential. 
The Arcadian is the non-ranked players. Yeah. The Mass Madness is all the ranked yeah, players. Uh, that is a huge, like, <laughs> turnover. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have literally never been in rounds of a regional, uh, or at least one that was, like, competitive enough that I was, like, I'm not the first seat, you know? Mm -hmm. I've been to some regionals where it's, like, you know, people Smaller, didn't really end yeah. up going because there was something else happening. Um, but, I mean, like... Uh, definitely the Arcadian. That was a whole other story of, uh, you know, mental uh, obstacles that were in the way about being first seed and being yes. expected to be the best that's person a curse. in the room. Well, it's a curse. Yeah. There's I mean, literally an Arcadian curse in first <laughs> seed. Like, that's, yeah, that's I mean, a legitimate thing. First seed, like, am I really expected to beat all these people? And I'm looking at the other names in the bracket. I'm like, I could lose to, like, half of these people. <laughs> Not half the whole bracket, but half yeah. of the people seated, like, top eight. You know? Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... It was doing oh, that. the TV. It was doing that. Oh, it was doing that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, does that mean the screen is down? I have no idea. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Shout out the trail. I don't know if the stream is still up. Uh. Well, you know, if not, you know, we can clean it up. You know, it's still. Oh, good, okay. Good. Maybe we're up. Uh. But yeah. So I mean, amazing run. You know, amazing doubles run. It was. Yep. It was good stuff. Uh. Shout out to you. You know, second place is nothing Thanks. to sneeze at. Yeah. Um, I. I'm really happy with that I, i'm really happy with how i played against the foxes but that was like just happenstance what i'm what i'm most happy about is how i played um versus calfar because almost all of my drug fox lessons are marth 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 because gotcha. like i lose to kikaho and ipoodle in connecticut every week yeah uh and so um like uh like so many of the things that i just have not implemented at the local like for some reason we're like so much more like so much louder in my brain in grands because like it was like this is the moment to like remember this thing yeah. like, something in my brain like s flipped and it was like yo you are remembering the things that you, that you talked about with drug fox and kept it close uh, i'm still not happy with uh hey you poodle uh i'm still not happy with um how slowly i fixed because he was just outspacing my air dodge recovery mm -hmm. and then like i would spot dodge or down smash and i can't just mix between those i have to sometimes mix in like run up and threaten the dash attack or the grab um and really like that I, I i started to do it and i i got him a couple times for it and i hit a lot of hard stuff that i you know some most of the time like not most of the time but sometimes miss so I'm, i was happy with that um but i recovered high like drug fox told like we changed the recovery we changed the we fixed the edge guarding um on, on yeah, it, was, it was crazy because there was also a crazy adjustment on your end where calvar went for like you personally to recover high, Calvar went for a neutral D, and then um, you know it worked one time or whatever. But <laughs> he went for a neutral B, which you spaced better, and then he went for jab, which he got you with the jab, or maybe he didn't get you with the jab, but then it made it so you had to recover lower than yeah. stage and killed you. But later in the set, <coughs> he did the same setup. He did the neutral B, the jab, and you swooped right in oh, and yeah. snapped the wedge. Yep, I was happy. With I was that. like, oh, I was like the adjustments. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like. <laughs> Only one time. That was another thing Drug Fox and I talked about was just just how far Peach can grab the ledge with Parasol. Mm -hmm. um, like it's extremely far away. You you'd be surprised. So you can, like you can settle for ledge when you need it, or you can you know if you deem if you think there's a higher value in possibly getting the stage, you can win on stage, get your resources back. Because uh, the big thing with Peach, it's like when you're recovering against Marth, almost always he's going to be able to get like the, a follow up, and you just are trying to make it as hard as possible. You're trying to sneak in like make a read on the timing he's going to swing or like really like make the timing like hard so that he like hesitates and then like now you're playing yeah like, now you're on the stage again um but also like touching the ground is a big deal because you get your double jump and your float back which yep. completely changed the edge guard uh sometimes something drug fox also talked about was uh you know sometimes if, if you're kind of low uh at like a mid percent you would rather just like kind of like take the hit like and go a little higher and recover from higher yeah so like sense. take tr 20 30 40 percent just to have a d better chance to make it back at all um, by recovering higher. So, yeah. One uh, thing I noticed also with against Beckman versus Calfar is your air dodges through on Beckman was destroying it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that like you just weren't doing them against Calvar, but like y you know they were probably just like more riskier. Gosh. So it's like you probably punish us harder for it. And yeah. You know, in you know how it feels to get punished. The, so the things the, the Beckman to Calvar switch was like Beckman was much more like hey, I have my sequence of moves that I'm going to be doing in these positions, and I'm going to do those, and, you know, up to you to not get hit by them. And what Calvar did was, like, hey, I, I know the thing that you've done, like, 80% of the time, and I'm just going to, like, make sure I hit that thing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like, the 20% that I go for a dash attack, it's, like, 
instead of like spot dodge or down smash after my air dodge, it's like damn. And I tried to like kind of like something that Drug Talk talked about was like they can't simultaneously like cover you going into the stage and then air dodging forward and then full drifting into stage yes. and also air dodging down right when you get to the edge of the yep. stage. So like they can't like do those both at the same time. Yeah. So what I was trying to do was do that and I, I I'm so glad I did it. Air, air dodge like drift mix ups. Yeah, are insane. it's it's a lot. Um, um, having access to the side platform with the air dodge is also a huge deal. You can actually like do a no impact land with the air dodge and mm. make it really hard to punish. But um, but yeah, like uh. I'm very happy with the with how I played overall. First and second, yeah. that's that's pretty good. <laughs> yes, in doubles and it's you know. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, first in doubles and second yeah. second in singles. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, mostly I'm I'm happy to have implemented things I worked on. Nice. Or like that I've got on the mind. Um, and then um, you know, second place is a bonus. <laughs> you know, Calvar with the May tag happened on Monday. Oh yeah. You with the hog tag, that Giga Hogs happening one. Oh, October 14th. You can nice. sign up at start.gg slash giga um, or hog.gg slash giga. And uh, it's our Connecticut uh, – nice nice place regional. for that, by the way. Uh, no, Connecticut uh, <laughs> Melee Regional. Uh, I, you know, I, I did shout out you know, the tournament yep, I run, yep, too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I did yep, the double. Me in Worcester? Or, no, it's not Worcester. Is it? it's, it's, it's in Milbury, so Milbury. it's right outside okay, Worcester. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, we're in Wallingford, Connecticut. It's like, you know, southern central Connecticut and – uh, every setup is a double TV setup, so yes. you get your own TV, er, yep. you know, in singles and in doubles. Like you don't have to crowd around a TV. It's really. Well, they do that nice. for singles too. Yep. Oh, yep, 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 is yep. that I new? I mean, not all of them will be double TV, gotcha, but gotcha. like a good amount of them will yeah, be. And so, like awesome. by the end of the bracket, all the yes, all the top yeah, eight, all, know, all the top matches. Are yeah, be. doubles the double TV. Yep. It's it's yep, amazing. Yep, yep, it's yep. amazing. Depends on turnout if we, you know, sacrifice some of those to be singles CRT setups, yeah. but. You know, a lot of double CRT setups. Uh, we got, you know, some cheap concessions and stuff. I don't yeah, know. no, it's, it's, it's good. We it's have some gaming PCs that are, that are just for There's that pizza use. place next door. There's you can bring your place. food in. It's you know, bring go. your own food, too. Yeah. Um, yep. A There's a oh, open games. mic. I don't know if you're planning. Like, you know, you sometimes the local usually has, like, open mic. Like yeah. You might be planning. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, you know, a few people for, like, It's another thing to organize, like and I, I, you know, G-Town is on top of that yeah. here, uh, which I, you know, which is very nice, but. Um, maybe we should be on more on top of it at Hog because it it depends like the turnout like you're yeah. saying so yeah. like I did that for bait ten you know when we have you know Omsa you know come out fly out which yep. is crazy a couple top one hundred players like, I did that for that one but the last mate no I didn't right. particularly <laughs> do that it's for. just another thing to do and yeah. like it's know, worth it when you can do it yeah. but if you don't have that many people that want to do commentary right. you can't make people do it, it yeah. <laughs> you know. Because then the people that you do have set for it are on there too long, and the blocks get worse, <laughs> commentary gets worse. Yeah, it is you, know, you know, everyone's there to have fun. So if it wouldn't be fun for them, then you know. But yeah, no, that was that was uh, it was awesome watching you. Thank you. I yeah. felt uh, a little bad for Beckman because it was me and Green being, being on commentary, and we're uh -huh. both wanting you to win. <laughs> <laughs> we were both we were I'm both sorry, rooting Beckman. for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was definitely the underdog uh, uh, overall. It was good. Um, Calvar that I was rooting Beckman. for, and then Green Vita was working yeah. for uh, you, so it worked <laughs> out. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, after winners finals, Beckman was like, "I want you to win." And I was like, "All right, here's how you can do that, Beckman. You can go beat Calvar for me." <laughs> he was close. He put yes, in, he put in the work. They he was literally really got close. so close, game five. Other than that battlefield game, it was close all the oh way yeah. through. Um, yep, yep. Uh, so but yeah, I'm I'm glad. You but know, shout outs to you. You know, shout outs. You know, to Calvar's run, of course. Yep. Um, and then you know Beckman taking third. There's nothing. There's nothing to, you know. That's that's. I think the first time I've personally seen New Hampshire not at least sixty six point six percent of the top three. <laughs> yeah, in fact, out of Mass Madness, Connecticut was three out of the four of the of the winners top four. Finals. Yeah, yeah. The top four. Uh, and you know. Um, that's crazy. Connecticut Grand fin or uh, Winners Finals, I yep. mean. And I was like, all right, let's get Connecticut Grand. Come this, on, one of you needs to make this, it back. It was crazy, you know. <laughs> it, you know, can't sleep on the, the sub, you know, the, these other parts of the region. You know, NEM, there's, uh, you know, Connecticut's part of NEM, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. NEM. Uh, glad to be part of New England Melee. It's been, uh, you know, a long time. Shout outs to the people who made it happen a long time ago. Uh, that you know. Shout out to the TOs. Thank then. you, the TOs too. Yeah, thanks, I didn't TOs. Say that at all the you. TOs that have ever done anything. Um, you know, even all the way back, I, the I started. teams, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lot, lot, lot of volunteer work that needs to happen to make these kind of things happen. So yeah. appreciate the people who are 
making that happen uh, and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think yeah. we can close it out. Yeah, I think it was good. Good, uh, you know, Trail's gonna come in here and beat us up. We keep going. No, I'm yep, just joking. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm still in yeah, here with that. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, one thing I want to say is thank you, Kikoho. Uh, my controller broke last week. He let me borrow his spare. Wild. And yeah, and that's, that's he, the spare wild. is easily the best control I've ever played on. So. That's crazy. That's, <laughs> I that's was like, probably the most wild. I was part like, of the damn, I'm hitting stuff today, and I'm like, was my controller bad? <laughs> sometimes it is. Yeah. And sometimes somebody picks up my controller, puts it on like the, um, what do they call that? The uh, it's like hacked into the Wii's. It's like the uh, the bar where it shows like your. Yep. Yep. I forget what it's called yeah, right now. I forget too. Um, but some of my controllers just like go dead and they're like oh that is not good <laughs> yeah and wow. i was like um, well you know I, I need to turn around like perfect so if it's dead it's fine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like as long as i can turn around but yeah it's uh it, sometimes you just play on a bad controller when you play on a good one it's like refreshing You're yeah like, it's wow great. this game is great Definitely. you know <laughs> melee's a yeah kikaho is like yeah if you win i actually won and i'm like all right i'll do it <laughs> we'll see and i just got kind of close but I, mean, I didn't realize it's pretty good um, but yeah, yep. uh, awesome. You know, out, shout yeah. out to Mass Madness. Yep. Uh, well, do you know what Mass Madness it was? I forgot the number. I don't know. Okay, well you the know, numbers, another Mass Madness. The numbers are for, you know, the, you know, the stats. You know, you know MM whatever yeah. number Mass Madness this is. Yeah, shout you can out find G-Town, it. New England you know, Discord. You know. Um, and you know, I think that, that's yeah, it. Yeah, shout but out to you know to you. It was a good interview. Oh, thank you. You got I you know I got prepped. I, I did Calvar's interview too. Yeah. You know? I try to like get through the things. Like, is there any bigger tournaments you're going to yep. too? I, like, I don't know if you're going to any bigger tournaments. Uh, I don't think I'm going to anything, anything uh, soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing a lot of Street Fighter, so we might go to some Street Fighter tournaments gotcha, too. Gotcha. So. I would like good. Big House or like Genesis, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, I, nothing I, planned I would, right now. You know, I would personally love to see, you know, a, an Artie at one of these bigger events that, <laughs> that isn't Shine. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, it's a good time. I just, you know, got to make it's time hard. for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hog's open five nights a week. Now we're yep. running nine week or nine tournaments. I'm telling you, he's week, got skin so. in the game. I was saying it during your set. I was like, you know, <laughs> Artie's got skin in the game on yeah. Hog. I was also saying the the two players that are sponsored by like locals, which is kind of crazy that they're in grands, but <laughs> yeah, you know that's, that's pretty cool yeah. too. Yeah, but yeah, so that's it. You know, twenty two k out already, yep. already, uh, already out. Calvar out. Um, out in first place too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good night, everyone. <laughs>